Hello sisters, how are we? <laughs> oh, I hope that you are having a very beautiful day wherever you are. I am once again showing up here impromptu, by the way, let me introduce myself for some of the newbies here. My name is Jonita D'Souza, your feminine lifestylist and the sacred space holder of this group. And I just finished a coaching session with one of my clients and I decided to share uh, some of my takings, a pattern that I am noticing recently in some of the women that I'm working with, given the situation of the world. And um, I am also recognizing that this was one of my patterns in my early days of, um, I would say, when I was in the state of um, the, the trauma, the transformation. Um, state. So if you haven't watched that video, please go back and watch uh, and share with me how uh, you are resonating to the four stages of becoming a feminine empress and I described four stages. So one of the patterns that I want to, I'm hiding from the sun here. <laughs> so one of the patterns that I noticed today um, and has been on my mind is a very sneaky way of how we are tricking ourselves to play small. Now I know this playing small tricks very well because I have used several kind of mind games with myself like in the name of self-care um, to play small and not do the things that I have to do in order for me to grow, expand because I had to do some kind of self-care. Uh, you know, so I was hiding behind that and then I was also very uh, cleverly tricking my mind behind my small desires. Um, this is a concept that I speak more in the sensual lifestyle visioning kit where I talk about small desires as well as big desires. So often what happens is that we have several small desires in our day-to-day -day life, yes, and we also have one particular big desire and this is this burning desire that we are feeling in that particular stage of our life so it can be there for a certain amount of years or time frame where you are in a particular stage in your life and you recognize that deep deep inside this is the big desire <laughs> yeah so so for example if somebody would ask me what is my small desire or what is my desire I would say things like I desire to just um, put on some comfortable shoes and go for a walk in the park and listen to the birds and just observe the nature soak in the beauty and all of that you know so that that's what I would say and yes, of course, why not? That's a very beautiful desire and it's a very doable desire as well. Big desires are usually the ones that, you know, will push us to our edges. So here's where, you know, I was de denying to, um, or I was hiding behind my small desires to um, play small. Whereas I knew that deep down inside of me, my big desire was to leave England and this was four years ago I wanted to I was so done with states <laughs> living in London I felt complete I wanted to travel I wanted to see beautiful location I wanted to go uh, experience new cultures and warm in a warm place because the weather was not doing me any good the crowd wasn't doing me any good so that was my story so I was hiding um, behind my small desires and not really playing big in order to what else I can do in order to receive my big desire. So this is what I am sharing today is one another very very fine sneaky clever ways in which we can fool ourselves into playing small <laughs> and this is by gratitude. I know all the good things about gratitude. I know this is the first thing I offer every morning I wake up as soon as I open my eyes. I am big on gratitude. But what I also know is that how many times we women are capable of hiding behind our gratitude. 
hiding behind our gratitude in ways where we might be actually settling. So, excuse the background noise here. <laughs> so, for example, you know, maybe in your relationship something is not going well and you're not really getting along and you just, you know, deep, deep, deep down you have this desire that, oh my God, I need this change and I need to have this, you know, tough conversation and, and that's the deep desire. But um, what's on the surface you are doing is like, oh, I'm so grateful at least I have this relationship, you know, he's a good person or she's a good person. So that's, that's, that's an example of how we are hiding behind gratitude. You know, maybe we want to, the desire is to, you know, get um, to work out and, you know, feel good in our bodies to maintain, to, to um, get back strength in our body through some kind of physical exercise, let's say, example. And, and we don't do it and um, we, we go and hide behind gratitude saying that at least I'm healthy. Um, so I'm grateful for that even though I'm not working out so it's okay <laughs> at least I'm healthy so you see the pattern so there are a lot of different ways where we actually use gratitude and then play small and we know inside of us that we are settling for less we know that that um, there is this deep down big um, thing you know, bothering us but we then settle for less and offer a gratitude and offering gratitude for something like that is fine. The problem, what I'm saying is, I'm not saying not to offer gratitude. I mean, what I'm saying is to stop, stop hiding behind the gratitude. So, since we've been talking about the feminine empress and the ways that she creates her beautiful life, here is an opportunity that is available for us is to really feel into, look into our lives where we are hiding behind gratitude. And once again, you as a feminine empress, you do not go into this um, inquiry from a place of, um, you know, like an FBI agent or a CIA, um, like trying to investigate like, oh my God, I'm screwed. I hide behind gratitude. I hide behind this thing, that thing. No. When you catch yourself that you you are hiding behind gratitude and playing small, settling for less, step into the co-creatress energy, like I've always been saying since the beginning of our journey with the feminine energy. Step into the creatress energy and feel into, hmm. So here's where I am tricking myself to play small. Hmm. What else is possible? What else can I do? So one of the things that we will be learning inside the Feminine Empress Codes is um, three big reasons that that we, that keeps us women really unfulfilled and uh, in our shell despite the uncomfortable feeling. Yeah, it's the it's the energy of fear, shame, and guilt. So the shame is, so when we work with the lover essence, we will be diving um, a lot deeper into the shame element, the shame energy, um, because that also stops us from um, playing big, showing up, becoming the gift. And then when we move on to the mother energy, the mother essence, we will be working with the guilt energy because once again that stops us from showing up becoming the gift and then when we move to the warrior energy we will be working with the fear warrior essence we will be working with the fear energy quite a tongue twister is it <laughs> fear energy because that stops us from showing up and becoming the gift fully utilizing ourselves on this planet in our life so yeah, so let me know if what I shared really resonated with you and I'm so excited to see quite a few women showing interest and signing up for the Feminine Empress Codes. I am so excited because this is going to be a um, true pilgrimage to our Feminine Empress with beautiful sisters. So I am really excited because with you I will grow as well. I know this for sure. 
Uh, another update, there is a dark moon transmission happening on uh, tomorrow. It's happening on the 7th. We enter the dark moon in Cancer. I will be going live and sharing some messages for your dark feminine that you have to or you can choose to work with to utilize the upcoming lunar cycle. So that's all I have to share, sisters. I am really curious to hear. Please put in the chat um, comments below. And let me know if you resonate to um, hiding behind this sneaky energy of gratitude and playing small. Or if there is anything else, or if there are really other new creative ways that you have created for yourself to play small. Alright, big love.